Hi, I'm Julia Clavis, and this is my Gigi's house. And and today we're gonna be cooking with Gigi. Hey, ladies first. Julia, how are you? Good. So what are we going to be making? We're going to be making galette today. Oh, cool. Let's go galette. Galette is a type of bread. The field hands would take flour and water to the field back in colonial days. And at lunchtime, they would mix it together and cook the bread on their hoes that they had used. Then they'd cook it over the fire. We're doing a little bit different version. We're going to actually cook ours on top of the stove in a frying pan. That's cool, Gigi. How do you learn how to make galette? Papa's Aunt Virgie made the best galette around, and she taught me how to make it. First thing we're going to do is pour some oil in our pan so it can be heated. We want it deep enough where the bread can fry in it. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take about a, two cups of flour Frying bread? Okay, I've never heard of that. Well, you'll get to see today what we do. <laughs> About two cups of self-rising flour. And then we're going to have some very hot tap water that we're going to mix with it. All right, we get the water very hot and add a little bit at a time to make a soft dough ball. By adding a little bit at a time, you won't end up having too soft of a dough. You want it where you can work it with your hands or your spoon. Now, as you can see, it's holding together and we can roll it out on a floured plate. Spread it out because we want it about small enough to fit into our frying pan. Now it's ready to go into grease as soon as our grease is hot. And that's what you call dough. <laughs> so how long does it take to get hot enough? About five minutes. We sprinkle a little cold water. It's oh. just starting to sizzle. We're almost there. Mm-hmm. Once the oil is hot enough, we slide it off the plate into the pan. The bread starts to fry and we wait until it turns a golden brown on the edges before we turn it over. We want to check it and see how the, how the underside is doing. And as you can see, it's not ready yet. Okay, so... Oh, it's turning into a bread and all. And I have not seen frying bread on a stove. What does garlic go well with? Just about any meal you want to put it with. It really goes good with fried chicken and creamed potatoes. 
we often use it for breakfast bread. Mm. We like to put fig preserves and butter on it or some other kind of jam or jelly. Our edge is starting to turn color just a little bit. It'll soon be time to turn it over. Let's take a peek at it now. It's turning golden brown on bottom, so let's turn it over. Hey, I didn't say it was easy. How long does this part take? Just a few minutes. What temperature do we set the stove on? We put it at medium high. <coughs> you don't want it too high because the outside will cook too fast and the inside will be raw. Ugh. You don't want it too low because it'll soak up too much oil. Ooh. Let's check the underside now and see. It is done. So just slide it out onto a plate lined with the paper towel. It looks good. Let's go over here and tear it apart and see just what kind of bread we have. It's still hot, but we can take it and gently tear it off. And look how nice and fluffy it is inside. <laughs> All right, let's try some. Oh, yeah. Blow on it. Good, crunchy, yeah. The heat's really good, I like it. How would you describe the taste? Light, almost buttery. Well, um, I hope you learned something today. Happy cooking!